Hello and welcome to another edition of the Good, the Bad, the Ugly. The distribution brought to you by the Department of Inhaled Vapors. Now I'm just doing this video to give you a little bit of an update into the whole Mac flavor situation. Um, those who saw the first video know that I wasn't impressed whatsoever with um, what they've put on the contents, on the actual boxes, uh, what they've actually put on the wardens, and the actual bottles themselves. Well, I had a little bit of surprise at the beginning of this week when they sent me another package of all the juices again. So I thought, well, hopefully they've got this sorted out. Um, have been in contact with McFlavors on Twitter who have assured me that they are investigating the situation. That's now been two weeks and I've heard no update upon that. I did get in contact with them again this week again. And they went and said, we will let you know as soon as we have any details for you. After two weeks, I would have thought there would have been some details about the quality and all this stuff. Just give you a little show inside the box that they sent me. Without hopefully tipping them all over the floor. So they sent me all ten again. Um, first thing, um, I'll, I have actually already opened that one. I'll do another one I haven't opened. Right. Do the coffee. This one I have not opened. Now, I say main problem. Well, if you saw the first video, you saw the problems I had with these. I had a lap full of juice. I had a computer full of juice. I had an RDA vapor shark all full of juice. All because of the fact that a the, the the actual nozzles come out really really easily, and the fact that four out of the ten actually didn't have a hole. That helped. So here we are. We've got. Same box, same instruction, blah 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 inside, and the bowl. Now, as you can see, I haven't actually cracked that one open yet. Ah, there we go. Alright, so here we go. Now, this one is the coffee. Look, that doesn't take a lot for that to come out. That, I should need pliers or at worst, my teeth, to actually pull that out. There's not a lot of give in that at all. That's far too easy to come out. Number one problem, still there. But I am glad to see it, at least this time. There's a hole. So that's an improvement there. So I'm going to do a little flavour test on a couple of these. And basically the part of the review I didn't get up to last time due to 20 mil of liquid all over my lap. I am going to take precautions, mind you, due to the safety, due to the, well, lack of safety in the actual nozzle. I'm putting this over my genitals. I'm not going to be getting coffee flavoured genitals while doing this review. Right, my weapon of choice today will be the Snow Wolf. Must thank the good people at Refuse Vapors for sending this to me. It's an absolutely beautiful little device. And it's got a cloned Rubik's on top, and that's been dual called to 0.4. <coughs> now, like I said in the first one, this is a there's no PG in this whatsoever. It is a PG substitute, which all right, I'll give them I'll give them kudos because pe some people do have a problem with B with uh, PG talking about the else with PG. So anything that <coughs> may be able to overcome that problem, yeah, that's all good. There is there is a kind of a bit of a coffee smell coming out of this one. Oh, 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 I'm dreading this bit. Oh, I don't want to squeeze too hard. Right, first thing off the bat, I'm going to risk doing this over the computer. First thing off the bat, if you can see that, really, really watery. Give that a little go of that. There's an undertone of something. I'd have put the lid. You can never feel like they give down product, but, but they are. Right. Give this a go. Right, I'm going to turn the power right down on this because of the actual watery nature of it. What should we do? Oh. Yeah, I'll go with that there. Right. 34.3 watts. Now this is equivalent to like 3.7 volts. So basically, uh, average half half spent ego. <coughs> right. 
Right. Favourite production is actually not too bad. Throughout it, you do get a little bit of, you get irritation about here. So it, does <coughs> it does invoke a bit of a tickle. Flavour wise, it's not great. There is a coffee flavour there. But it doesn't seem to be really enough flavour in there. Um, you do get kind of a lubed up undertone to it, like a film. It just does kind of coat. But flavour wise, it's not, it's lacking. It's lacking quite a bit. A coffee flavour should, mm, it should be like the first coffee of the day type of feeling in your mouth, a taste in your mouth. I'm just not really getting it here. It's just kind of this oily film in your mouth, which I'm not a fan of. Like, well, the, co the coffee is there, but it's just it's really not strong enough in the slightest. I say vapor production is, is good for what it is. But right, I've got to go up to 40 watts. That's 3.95. Irritation on the throat. It does give a bit of a sore throat. <coughs> no. Higher up. Kind of get everything feels lubed in my mouth, which is a bit wrong. It's just a film of something in my mouth. <coughs> throat, throat hit on that is actually quite bad now, and it does irritate a lot. It does tickle and irritate. And flavour wise, it's still not really great. Yeah, I can't do that. Flavour wise pants, weird, oily, filmy in my mouth is not great and the throat irritation just annoys to the point where you're gonna cough. Yeah, that's not great. Uh I'll try a couple of others and just see if they've actually hit the mark on any of them. I'll just give this a quick blowout, but Try the strawberry. There we go, strawberry. Like I say, I like the the picture side of it. I like. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll do. I'll do a score system for this one. I don't normally do a score system, so even good or bad, but this one's this one's got some faults. I'd just like to thank that plane for flying over and just took the interrupt in the video. Thank you. Right, here we go. We've got the strawberry. And look, da da. <laughs> two for two. Really getting a great deal of strawberry flavour coming out of that. Oh, my throat is a tad sore. Ah, no, I won't do the strawberry. Look at that. Thanks for that, guys. No end. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. Hang on, which bat? No, this one's come from a different batch number. This one's come from number 45. Now, if you remember the first video, I had number 69 batch. I think this is a problem all the way through your system, guys. I could cut that off, but I'm not being funny. If you guys can't be bothered to do that, why should I? Someone's going to get that home and do exactly what I did in the first video with that, because they're not going to check that it's going to go like that. Assuming that quality control has been done, and that's got a hole in it, and they're going to squeeze it. I'm not going to APR, but squeeze again, and... <coughs> Not good, guys. Not good. That's fine. Uh, so we've got the aniseed. Yeah, we go. This isn't looking good, guys. Really not impressed here. Alright, I have actually opened this one. 
And oh, we have we got a hole. Yes, we have a hole. We have a loose nib, but we have a hole. <sighs> free for free. I'm just pulling these out. I'm not applying any pressure. They are just coming out. Another watery solution. How much water got now? It's the anise. Now I like anise. I like anise. I like I like quite a few in the kind of in your face flavours. You know the ones that make mm, that really make the um, taste buds come alive. I haven't actually had a bad anise one yet. Yet. Let's try this. Let's go down again because. Well, my, my throat is still playing up from that first one. Oh, let's go back to 34 watts. Really weak flavour and mixed in with this kind of vegetable oil taste is just a bit. Comes through at the end. I will admit the aniseed does come through at the end, but the initial blast is not aniseed. I don't know what it is. It is, it is kind of a vegetable oily something, and the throat is playing up again. The only thing going for it really is the vapor touch. The vapor touch is quite surprised because it's a really watery juice. So the vapor touch. Oh, I can feel my throat kind of closing up. You know when you get a sore throat and it feels hard to swallow? That's kind of how I feel after doing this. So there is still an element of what problem I had with PG with this PG 1.3 that's being used. It just generally felt, it was generally getting like a golf ball in the throat. It's just in flavour is a little oh, flavour is a little bit better on this one, but the throat irritation is more, and you do still get that. Now, be fair, the sensation I've got in my mouth is like when you've had a really badly made VG juice. You know when they haven't put enough flavour in it, so all you get is that, like you've just downed a whole bottle of KY jelly. Is that kind of feeling in your mouth? Well, I'm the only one. But um, oh, I say vapor production's surprisingly good. I'll, I'll, I'll say that the vapor production surprise is good, but the flavour-wise and the sensation and feeling it leaves in your mouth is. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Go up to forty. I'll probably not. I might do one more, and then I'll knock this lot on the head and get on to rating it. So far, is it burns out really quickly due to water? It is. Yeah, we're dry already. Right. Yeah, that's 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 a no as well. Uh, all right, one more. Rum. I'm not being funny. I think it's going to kill me. I'm tempted to do it. All right. Now I'm going the vanilla, and I might end on the rum. Just good on God. If the others are killing my throat, then the Hennessy's killing my throat. God knows what the rum's going to do. Right, so I've got the vanilla. There we go, broken up. Ah, I don't know if you can just see there. This is one I haven't opened up yet. Tampering tamper ring is still sealed. Tampering rings, I'll tell you what, they do break remarkably easily. Ah, oh, oh, surprise! <laughs> 100% rated. But we have a hole. So far the hit rate's gone a little bit better on that one. Uh, vanilla. It's a very dark liquid for vanilla. Actually it's a weird colour. 
it's kind of a pinky brown. That's just bizarre. Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't stain the wicks too much, but I'm thinking with how much how watery this juice is, I'm not surprised. But colouring is just bizarre. It's vanilla, isn't it? Yeah, that's vanilla. My throat is killing me. Things I do for you guys. <coughs> Alright, turn that down again. Very thought. Whatever was going in is vanilla. That's great. Gets to about here, it takes on a really sickly afternoon. Like someone just added to. Oh, throat again. I will admit this will be the last one I'm doing because my throat is ripped to in shit at the moment. Um. Yeah. Flavour going in is vanilla, and it's actually quite a pleasant vanilla. It's actually a nice little kind of. Ice creamy, like one of those proper Italian ice creams, you know, that type of vanilla. It's actually quite nice. Gets to about here, and there's this just really oversweet, sickly afternoon that comes, and as you exhale, that just comes out. And it's still got the lubed up mouth and throat and tongue and anything else that's probably inside me at the moment. My, uh, eating my dinner today should be really quick because it's going to slide down really well. But. The pain in the throat is just increasing with each one of these I do. I'm going to do one more on 40. I was going to do a couple of others. I'm not even going to touch them. I'll be fair, guys. Yeah, th th this is really shouldn't be on the market at all. <laughs> right, that's it. I'm not doing. I'm officially not doing. It. I've actually quit the review because <laughs> this is really tosh. Um, right, good, bad, ugly ratings of this juice. The good. Actually, like the artwork on the boxes. It's a more mature look on it. Uh, it's not kiddified and all this lot. Like that aspect of it. Other thing I like about this is I didn't pay for this. I would have been one really pissed off reviewer if I'd had to pay it. Bad. No, oh, there's quite a bit of bad on this. Flavour wise, a low there is lacking. This really weird, funky, lubed up mouth and throat that I've now got. Um, actual contents on the packet is absolute bollocks. I'm not being flat that. Over there, right. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. No way. A hundred percent water. I don't get this. I don't get that at all. I mean, all right. You got your PG substitute. Fair enough. You got your nicotine. Yeah, that's fair enough. Fragrance. I'm assuming because you're Italian, you mean flavorings. But then water, a hundred percent. That just doesn't add up at all. You've got a hundred. Even if you took the other two things out of there, with water and nicotine, you've got a hundred point four percent. And why is it based on per 100 grams? If you're only making 20 milliliter bottles, based on 20 milliliter bottles, give us the breakdown for a 20 ml bottle. Uh, warnings, warnings, warnings. What the hell is do not inhale? It's a vape product. We're going to inhale it. Inhale. <coughs> oh, shouldn't have done that. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I've got to burn this out and put something decent in. Yeah, so that that's crap. That's crap. I'm wasting this. No one's going to be looking or reading at that. The ugly and the ugly. I don't normally. Do you know what? It takes up so much for me to put an ugly rating on a juice, but this gets ugly on so many. And it's all a lot of it is down. Well, it's down to that packaging that comes in under ugly as well. But this is inexcusable. 
You've got the TPD coming racing at our hills at the moment, right across Europe. And one of the stipulations is leak proof refilling. What, where is it? How, how can you say that that's leak proof when I've just pulled that off with minimum effort? The bottle design is tosh. The bottle design is potentially dangerous in my opinion. The oh, other uglies. My throat is absolutely killing me now. And that's a problem that I used to get with PG. But I didn't get it this bad with PG. I genuinely feel like I've swallowed a golf ball now. And I've done, what, 15 minutes of juice? Just simply not good enough, guys. So, what can I say? Give you kudos for try attempting something which would be a substitute for PG. But this isn't it. I'll be fair, if this was Dragon's Den, I'd be out. This is really not good enough, guys. Well, on that happy... L on that happy go lucky note, I'm going to cough again, sorry. <coughs> <coughs> I bid you all a very good day. Please do not touch this juice from a barge pole. If there is any updates from McFlavor, like they've promised me, I will do another video and just inform you of what they've said about this. But until that point, my name's been Darren Stone. I'm head of the Department of Health Vapors, and I wish you all a very good afternoon, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.